Hi guys, this is Rajveer Singh. I'm one of the head of the training of NFI. And in this video, I'm going to talk about Connect IO. Connect IO is a software which is launched by Real Games to to work on different logics and to connect your inputs with outputs using your own innovative and customized logics. And this software is widely used in two main softwares, which is Factory IO and Home IO which you may find more details in their website. So this Connect IO is a freeware open source software used for uh, connecting your different software platforms and even your hardware platforms, all right? So we have to see, and this, this actually works on functional block diagram, similar to its programming is based on functional block diagram, which is used in widely in Schneider PLC and in Siemens PLC. You'll find similar blocks here. So if you are from programming background, you may find it very interesting although it is open source so you can download that from the website and you can work on this software for your own benefits anyways so let's see what we have in the software we have input sections then we have outputs memory sources tags plugins utilities and settings all right so let's see the first video i'll be using these functions in between the videos so i'll be explaining you where to use which one all right so the first step is we are going to use arithmetic functions so that will come in your plugins okay in plugins you have arithmetic blocks the first is the add block so I can drag this add block here this is how this add block will come here okay so this add function says it will add two inputs and it will give it to the output okay so for the input I will take my source I will take a numerical numerical input okay these are the two inputs I can I can name this inputs I can give some descriptions here so let's see this description is A, okay, and its description is B. So I want to add A and B, okay. Now you can see that this B has a range 0 to 100. If you change that range 0 to 10, the slider will work for 0 to 10, okay. This is for 0 to 100. So you can set your range according to what you want to add, or this information can be from your sensors as well if you are using some plugins you can plug in your sensors you can add something to it. you can add your counter as well counting sensor which is counting something okay so this is just an illustrations then in the output you can do you can display your results so to display the results you go to output and connect one more end and connect output like that this is just drag and drop okay so you can see the answer is in the real time this is right now it's in play mode so I can drag the input and you can find the real time output okay pretty easy so you can also give description to this int as a plus b very cool all right now you know by having this different color it's make it very interesting anyway so let's move ahead we have one more arithmetic function add three in which you have three inputs all right so I'm just showing you very quickly this is the first input and this b can be the second input this can be the third input so I can take one more I can do copy paste as well it's well supported here this can be our C let's change the range to 50 this is a C now to display this one I can go to I can take this or I can take one more output alright this can be given here so this has E plus B plus C so I should write here C this is E plus B and now why it is showing C because the addressing is same so I can give it this give this address 1 and give it plus A plus B plus C okay this address can be 0 this is fine so this is A plus B and this is A plus B plus C alright so the C will have only effect on this end so that's the addition command okay similarly we can have more functions division okay in this case I can take few more inputs oops not this one numerical inputs this is a bit input now this can be this can be my D and range is fine and one more numerical this can be E okay connecting to oops I should divide D by E okay results and the output 
okay now here I can take float output as well because I can have the exact fraction value okay that can also be done so have a look like this now 44 divided by 82 that's the value coming okay so that's the real-time value coming in the outputs here you can write it's D divided by E okay that's the division one then you have multiplication if I change this one with multiplication I will have the results as D multiple of E alright and thus you can change D multiple of E then you also have subtract so you have all major four functions basic four functions arithmetic addition subtraction multiplication and division okay so this becomes your D minus E so that's all about how to use arithmetic functions using different inputs for inputs you can go to source and get your numerical values this is the function you get from the tags this is the output you can get from here if you take an end output here it will not show you value in fraction to have value in fraction or points you must take a float input float output okay so if you are having the software check this uh, check this logic it's very interesting and very basic basic the first lesson to go for that alright in next video we'll see some board mass equations how we can have a complex equation using these additions and fraction okay thank you so much see you in the next video